I am buying this decline. I am buying all declines. This is not a sell on market. That was at 11,500. We are now at 10,850. It's not the same level. And remember, for the last one and a half months, we are bottoming out. We are bouncing in the same trading area, 10,700, 11,100. This is not a market which is saying I'm going down further. Not yet. If it goes down, then it will break those levels. So this dip is a buying opportunity. The point is that we can again face resistance at higher levels. So you have to manage your trade that you take whatever you, the market gives you. The big move will come above 11,100. That may take time. But below 10,900, I am only a buyer, not a seller. And once the market opens, stabilizes for 15 minutes, I would look to buy. Buy Siemens. Siemens has been an outperformer as, a, as the small rally that we saw is now facing resistance. I am assuming this resistance will be overcome and how much higher levels are coming. By RBL Bank. RBL Bank has gone through a bear market. It's now outperforming the other banks in the short term. That, should, that momentum is likely to help it move higher. And by Gale, Gale has again gone through a bear market. It's now built some kind of a small double bottom. That's the first sign that perhaps it's willing to go up. Three buying ideas and the only short sell intraday is India Bulls Housing. That stock is in a mess. I think yesterday's move, you know, did two things. One, uh, we kind of broke below the pivot support of 10,855-860. And yes, a lot of indicators started expanding negatively, which would typically suggest that there should be a good chance of follow through happening on the downside. While the SDX is indicating a positive start today, I think there is still a chance that if the gap is not followed through, then I think we will decline. So I am not very positive despite the fact that the SGX is about half a percent higher. And I believe that if the morning gap up is not followed through, there is a, a bigger chance of us, you know, kind of immediately uh, selling off and uh, heading lower. The reversal would happen in case we start getting past 10,920, 925. And if on the spot these levels have been captured, then I think you would want to abandon the negative view and wait it out. Uh, I have more of sell calls. The only buy on the list is Page Industries, where the indicator setup and uh, overall strength is quite good. That's the buy with a stop at 19,100. And look at targets close to about 19,920 uh, or thereabouts. Uh, the rest of them are sell calls. I have a sell on um, Bank of Baroda with a stop at 98.5. Try to sell on the early morning bounce close to range of 96, 96 half, so a point higher than where it closed. And look for targets of 92. Also have sell on Xide, uh, sell around 176, keep a stop at 178.70, look for targets of 170 there. And Ambuja Cement also, you know, gave some negative signals on the charts yesterday. So on a mild bounce to about 197, sell with a stop at 201, look for targets of 188. What we have seen yesterday, like, a, so we yesterday we saw that it looks like a triangle, but actually I would call it a pennant. Technically, there's a textbook pattern out there. There's a pennant out. If we break the lows, assuming from today, tomorrow, day after, whenever it does, then maybe a good decline for around 500 points, 4 to 500 points. So then, to me, it's scary. It is at a place of make or break levels. In fact, yesterday's close at 10, 818 is a good, beautiful <coughs> geometric low, which basically means the geometry is perfect. It can bounce from me. It can is one thing, but will it? I don't know. But even if we see a bounce because it's stretched in the downside, to my mind, the rallies can be sold. Rallies until 10,900 zones are, a, I think, a sellable rallies. A reversal will come only if it crosses perhaps 10,950 or 1,100 zones. But we will see a bounce. But would you see maybe after 15 or 20 minutes, if you get a chance, I will short it. Look to short it at the place where I want to. I have all sales. I don't mind missing the move unless I see some evidence of going up. Then I might change my mind even after 15 minutes. Who knows? As a trader, just change. I like Ashok Leland as a sell. I think it can see a slide to around 50 zones. Top of our 62 should be fine. It's at a place where it can actually break down. BHL is another stock that looks to me weak. Again, a similar pattern like Ashok Leland. Target on the downside is 45. Top above 50. NMDC looks more of an exhaustion pattern. Good place to short if it has to. Target on the downside is 78. Stop above 85. And Pedalite is again an exhaustion pattern and a breakdown. I think it's falling down to levels closer to around 1290 zones. Stop above 1350. So all sales.